Why am I making a video off of this game? To this alone, even though I am strong, need something more than me, someone to- Okay, look, when this teaser came out, wasn't everyone hyped? I mean, Eggman basically overtook the world and it looked so epic. Modern Sonic returned again, being epic as always. Yes, the modern Sonic we all know. Well, the Sonic we should know. But then, look, classic Sonic comes out. Oh my gosh, he returns. Wait, what? First we get modern Sonic, then classic Sonic again? I mean, why? Well, maybe after the success of Sonic Mania, they thought putting classic Sonic in Sonic Forces would do epic. But, it wasn't. Now finally came the Avatar, which actually wasn't a bad idea at first. Creating your own character sounded actually kind of nice, but it wasn't. We'll get into the bad side of some of these later. For now, we get introduced into a villain. You see, wait for it, wait for it, Shadow the Hedgehog. I mean, shocker, but like, why would Shadow turn against us? That just didn't make sense. Following Shadow came villains such as Metal Sonic, Zavik, Chaos, and yeah, then we got introduced to a brand new one, which most of you know, Infinite. His design was peak, amazing, but they screw it up. Okay, I'm about to go into a 2-3 to three minute rant, so here we go. First, let's jump into our beloved character, Sonic the Hedgehog. Why was he messed up in this game? First, let's talk about the boost used in Modern Sonic. It was very abusable. You could easily beat the game like in like three hours, just spamming it over and over every time you're a Modern Sonic. Plus, I don't think we really saw character development in him in any way. His story arc had minimal change. He was beat up, then came back and he was like, okay, like, almost like nothing happened. That was the weirdest part. Something about a story just leaves an empty mark, like, first of all, why? Second of all, huh? Third of all, I have no idea. Um, I just don't know what happened to Modern Sonic. They just screwed him up. Now, last time we saw Classic Sonic was in Sonic Generations, as you all know. And he was portrayed kind of well. I had no hate for him. Nor did I have love for him. Why did I not like him? Because he should have stayed in his classic Sonic series. He should not have jumped into the modern Sonic series. Well, also because in Forces, he was really rushed. It seemed like they just put him in for, I don't know, a cash grab. We really don't know. It just felt like they shoved him in here when he really didn't have to be in it. Now the Avatar. We do get a character development in him, which is a good thing. He's all sad and alone, and Infinite beats him up like, wah, wah. He, well, almost kills him, really. But he pushes through, joins the resistance, they beat up Infinite. He kind of like develops. But did they really have to include him? I mean, really, this is about Sonic, not the Avatar, if you think about it. Infinite not just going to come back and be like, oh, I'm here to destroy the rookie. No, he's going to want to destroy Sonic. So why even include the rookie? These three main characters really didn't find a place. Throw more like a cash grab. You throw them in. You make a quick story. I do not see how this game took three years to make. Now, Infinite is another story which I'm really going to get into. He had one of the coolest designs ever. Great villain, great powers. I think they did amazing with him. Though, this is how they messed him up. He was the weakest character ever. I mean, he got beat up by Sonic like, I don't know, like five times and got beat up by Shadow once and then also got beat up by the Avatar. I mean, he's weak. I do like his design, but his character, story arc, all that really was just terrible. Compare what an apocalyptic game is supposed to be, this was not it. This was a massive failure. And somehow, they thought 06 was a greater failure. I mean, how is that possible? What's going on? Wait, 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 what? No, 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 no. 
Why is this a thing? Why is this a thing? Anyways, forces failure. That's all you gotta know. Complete failure for the franchise. Okay, look, Sonic Forces was terrible. But even though it was terrible, it brought along some great things. Let me explain. You guys know Sonic IDW comics, right? Well, the only reason they exist is because of Sonic Forces. Without it, we wouldn't be able to read the best Sonic like book series ever. Another thing I'd also like to say, this is kind of controversial, but I think the soundtrack was pretty good. I don't think the music had any problems at all. I think it sounded pretty nice. Basically, I think it was fine. The soundtrack, though, is a controversial thought. Some people think it's bad. Some people think it's good. Some people think it's amazing. So, I'll say, it's alright. I think Fist Bump was a really good song. And so was the ending credit song. But yeah, I think there's still some good in there. Such as, look at this picture. It's like so beautiful. This picture is beautiful. I mean, it has like perfect scenery and everything. Like, they really put like really good attention to the background. Plus, I'll say it again, I really like the design of Infinite. His character wasn't built well, but like his design was beautiful. That's the good in Sonic Forces. We had some good, we had some bad. The good was small, but it brought in so many amazing things. Overall, Sonic has its ups and downs. Not everything can succeed, and this was one of them. We were hoping for something great. We thought we were going to get something great, but it just wasn't. We can only hope for the best. Sonic may have failed this time, but he may not fail again. Who knows what will happen? Maybe Frontiers is what we need, but who really knows? But is Frontiers as really as bad as we think it is? Who knows? This is my opinion. Give yours in the comment below. It's a good game, bad game. I want to hear what you guys think. I'll see y'all in the next one. Vision share, future you promise. On that special day, still memories never fade.